I figured I'd turn the camera on and start saying something. Um, so, so in March, in March of this year, I tried vlogging every single day until the point that I couldn't because I was running out of storage for um, what I was doing. Because at the time, my computer like was running out of storage, um, and that was basically like where I put everything, you know. Um, and since so then, that happened. And I have, right now, months later, a lot of footage that's not out. And I'm editing a lot. And I think I'm trying to make this video so I can start being consistent. And start doing things uh, at a certain time every day. Well, that, that is consistency. Like, <clears throat> people don't see what I'm, how much work goes into anything. Uh, because I don't really vlog it, I don't really record it, um, so a lot of times I think people will probably see one side of it, or one side of things. I think it's very typical, a very kind of understanding, um, that people don't see the other side of any, uh, of, of just the other side. Today on the radio I heard that, um, there's a petition at change.org to rewrite the entire last season of Game of Thrones, which I'm listening and I'm like, it's not, it's not that easy. It's it's not that easy. I don't know what these, I guess these consumers believe that it's that easy to rewrite this the whole show and and produce it again and and just put it on air again. And a new way, it's not, it's not, it's like, it's not that easy, like, consumers don't understand. And I think that's what the issue is with a lot of people. Um, today I was asked what type of, I have a dream speech I would make. I, I said that I, I think I'd like territories to talk with each other, rather than just blatantly point, uh, weapons at each other, weapons that could potentially cover every square inch of the planet Earth in nuclear devastation. Um, and I think that's kind of like an issue that's not um, dealt with a lot. It's like understanding talking and understanding the other side. Because a lot of times, especially if you're a consumer, you don't understand the business side of things. You don't understand... Um, how how the corporate has to make money it's just it's the corporate it's the man it's the government it's shay whitey it's it's you know it's the whoever is at, at the other side right and screw them and you know maybe they got a point maybe it's their beliefs and whatever and i think everybody's entitled to their own beliefs i certainly have beliefs that not people not a lot of people would like um agree with but i just think it's i think i, I kind of want to communicate on what I'm going through, which, by the way, I don't think is negative. I've been very positive the last few months, and although maybe I I say things that are complicated, um, I'm trying to communicate better and really trying to do what I got to do. But what I got to do in my mind is a whole lot of things. It's it's not just content creation. I want to be an influencer, number one. Um, like entrepreneur number two, and there's just a lot of other stuff I would love to get into. I think I'm I would have an interest in getting into the film business, like the traditional film business. Um, and already, an influencer is a, a, like takes up all your day, right? So there's posting times. You have to post at least um like a certain number of times every week on different platforms. So like on YouTube, it's different as from Insta and Snap and Facebook and whatever other social medias you use. And furthermore, I'm trying to post on other social media that a lot of people haven't heard about um, so that I could grow with the social media. Um, I And I don't want to, I don't want to say, for some reason, I guess I don't want to say every single thing that's happening in my life, which is understandable. But then there's the confliction of how should I approach social media? Should I, should I, give as much of my life as possible or should I like should I be more mysterious um and I, I've tried to learn from the best in the world and what they do right so if I'm 
if I'm learning about nutrition and working out, I'm trying to learn from Mr. Olympias, which I know are steroid users, but they, like, people don't understand, like, yeah, they're steroid users, and they have the money and whatever to supply themselves with the food, but they have to come up and stick to training regimens that are going to advance them past the next guy, and if they're Mr. Olympias, that means the way that they trained helped them for their own specific bodies to beat everyone else. And once they beat everyone else, they're the best in the world. They're literally Mr. Olympia, right? Who's better than Mr. Olympia? Nobody in the bodybuilding world. That is the top everything, right? And I learned from the bodybuilding world because that's how I want to develop my body. I don't really want to develop it fitness style or football style or anything like that. And that's how I'm interested in it. Even though I don't, I don't come off with it as now. I mean, I don't like show it now. That's like what I'm, what I'm trying to go for. Um, and you know, different things. And I'm trying the basic point. I'm trying to learn the best from everyone that I could. Right. So that goes for entrepreneurs, film writers, film writers, like script writers, uh, and influencers. Right. So, so I, I look at different influencers and I think, okay, how can I balance what they're doing, um, and what they're not doing and see if I can do that. For example, like, um, like Jake Paul, let's say. A lot of people don't like him. Cringe and whatever, right? Uh, I can see that. <laughs> but, like, a lot of people don't get also, right? The guy, the guy, and I'm not trying to praise him. Like, he's, 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 um, he, he, like everyone else, starts off the day by putting one leg through one, uh, I don't know, hole in the pants, I guess you, you call it. Just like everyone else. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to ride him, but basically um what i'm trying to say is that the dude was the dude was 19 trying to innovate and and, and did innovate the vlog game right like um was an was an over owner of a media conglomerate multiple businesses and succeeded in all of those and yeah he turned into like a kind of like a content machine that disperses cringy content for kids or whatever um, but like you look at the guy's history and like, dude, I want to, I, I need to, I need to put as much work as I, as, as he did, maybe even more if I possibly could, because what people don't understand, yeah, people can make content that seems cringy and the person seems cringe, but they have to supply what their audience wants. And yeah, that, that differs from different creators, but for the majority, if their creators are five to 13, they're gonna make content that's for five and thirteen year olds, and maybe yeah, other older demographic is gonna be interested in that. Some weirdos like me are gonna watch Jake Paul videos, but for the most part, that's what's happening. And then you got the exception of PewDiePie, who stopped making gameplay videos and and kind of did different things. And then there's someone like him who has said before that if he didn't change what he was making, the content he was making, then he wouldn't have been where he was. Um, and so then I just, just so many, there's just so many different methods that I, that confuses me and that I'm like, okay, I want to make him, I want to make social media my thing. Uh, but how am I going to go about doing that? Um, and so I kind of see what's successful for other people and see how I can apply it to myself because obviously I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, I don't think I can do Mr. Beast stuff all the time, right? Because I'm not, I'm not about to pay the money to go give someone a car, you know? But there is stuff I can do. That I can look back and at the most successful um, influencers that have come and gone. And, well, not even come and gone. Like, you know, their peak and whatever. Um, I can look back at their the beginnings and see how much work they put in and exactly how they did it, right? So my confliction is like, Influencership takes up all my time, which I will will love to do. Like whatever stress it brings me, I'm pretty sure I, I know I know that I'm I'm willing to take it for for my foundation, which is helping people. Um, and mix that with being an entrepreneur, which also takes up all your time. And also, if you if you were to, and also another kind of ambition I think is because I want to I want to try. I think for one year, at least one year, a school year, the last school year that I can possibly try this at, 
I want to see if I can get a role in um, the school stage production. The reason being is because for a long time I was kind of had I had I've had a fascination about theater and stuff like that, but I never acted upon it because I thought a lot of the stage stuff was dumb or like I didn't like to do it. Like there was a stage thing in the seventh grade which was about Elf. I could not imagine me playing something in Elf. I, I for me, I mean. It, for me personally, I would be very embarrassed to 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 be in a play, and I ha I play a, a minor role in Elf in a in a middle school play, you know. But I think if the right play comes at that very time, I'm gonna be ready to take whatever role there is. But in order to be ready, I'm gonna have to push myself and work harder than anyone else is because I don't think a lot of other people are gonna work hard as me. I'm going to make it so that I want to try to make it so that no one else is working as hard as me, right? So that means from now on until that very time, and I think November, when they start casting auditions, I'm going to be ready. So that means I got to learn to be an actor because right now I'm a terrible actor, which is fine because it wasn't ever my thing. Acting was, I, I kind of found it interesting, but it, I found making videos more interesting and stuff like that. So you mix influencership, entrepreneurship, acting. And other stuff, such as, like, wanting to get into the film industry. And and not only that, not just doing it, but trying to nail it every single time in business, um, influencership, and everything else that I do. And forcing myself to sleep little. I say six hours. Um, so that I have more time. And yeah, I don't recommend that. Um, because I am losing a lot of health. And I'm, I'm losing a lot of potential mind that I could have as a fully grown adult, but I'm doing it because I value success over my own health. I will go that far to do it. And even furthermore, I have a confliction of, should I see my family in El Salvador? Um, because I don't, family is kind of like a gray area for me. I don't know, I don't know what, I, I my true family in my mind would be my father and my mother first and foremost. And then after that would be like my uncle who lives around me, my aunt and my cousin. Um, but it's not like they've done bad to me. A lot of people say, I think the majority of people I meet value family a lot and if I don't meet them I hear about it on the radio TV or in the videos on social media family is number one it's important and, and stuff like that I know I don't think so I, I don't know I mean I don't know I don't want to say anything really against my own family because I understand they could be my audience as well and it's not like they've done anything wrong to me well I mean not that I'll admit but that's only a very few. Um, and even that, even then, I feel that I forgive them. Um, it's just I've heard stories and I've seen, for example, how one can depend on their family, right? The, the expectation that they're blood, right? They're blood. They come from the same mother or father. Or they're somehow related because they have the same genes. And they don't, the family doesn't hold them back. They don't, they don't hold them up, I mean. They don't help them. And I've seen that, and it's, and, it, and in my mind, it, I've, I've knew that, I've known that since I was very little. Um, and so I'm conflicted as in, do I put my work over my family? Because it's not, I've met them before, but I was like four or seven. I was four. And my mom wants to get the plane tickets. I'm not about to go there because I'm a minor right now. I mean, I'm not about to go there by myself, right? Um, and I don't know what to do. Do I meet these people? I don't really know, but who... I know two want to see me, my, my sister and my grandmother, they, they say they, I think they want to see me, right? And my sister's graduating. 
from university, and if I go, I'll be at her graduation ceremony, and, like, but what if I can't, I'm just doing what I want to do in social media, business, and whatever else that I want to do, I want to put more work in it than, than anyone else, or at least, or better, better than that, that I, that I could, I want to put all that I could into what I can, um, and, that means that I have to put away hangout times and talking to people that aren't gonna like help me at the moment um because I'm busy because I have goals and priorities I've had all the time to do that but I think it's finally faded and so I don't know do I stay here and try to do what I can or do I go there? But then it's even more complicated than that. Because family's a gray area. And then I just don't know. Ugh, shit. I don't know what to do. But the that question has been has been on my mind for a long time. I haven't even done a lot of the stuff that I want to do because of that. Like the room is a mess. I haven't been editing or doing social media as much as I could because of that question because it's such a gray area question for me and it's even more deeper than that because then I have to think wow I don't found I don't value my family as much does that mean I'm a good person and it's just go deep it goes deeper you know um just be, I think just because I've seen how other people value family so much I guess they're lucky enough to where they had didn't have a family to betray them not that my family betrayed me either it's just I've seen it happen before and so in my mind it's like why should I give them special treatment just because we happen to have the same blood don't we all have the same blood if you if you if you stab us right in wherever part of the body won't we shed red blood right whatever the skin color whatever that whatever else is right don't our eyes, aren't they composed of the same thing, of the same liquid and all that? I can go on and on. <laughs> I've, I've seen my friends be more family to me than, than family. My friends have helped me out more than my family. No, I don't want to say that. I, I, I mean, I don't want to say that my family has not done anything for me. I'm grateful for what they have done and anything that they have done, but at some times when I compare certain situations, I can very clearly see a difference. Not to put my family down, but it's it's something that I thought I would not even talk about, and that evidently I've spent more time talking about than intended, because what, it's like 20 minutes now? And there's still so much on my mind, and I already, like, right now I'm supposed to be doing something else like posting time and editing time is done for me there's a specific time for me to do that and I'm still rambling on in a 20 minute video like I have a vlog ready to upload for tomorrow I think and this is gonna be longer than that vlog and that vlog is at least has more energy has like a plot line or whatever this is more like me rambling but then again and then there's another confliction of that like do I oh, about how quality I should make my post because that's like the majority reason why I don't post is because I know it's gonna be like a minute I don't want to do filler vlogs again because I did filler vlogs for like the whole summer and then finally summer came out and I couldn't execute because I didn't know I didn't know how to go about making videos and storage was even a worse story at the time Wi-Fi and storage was just almost non-existent at the time for me and That was my hat falling. I don't know why my hat fell. Um, but I feel like this video has probably gone long enough. But then again, I say that, right? I say that, and then I remember when other creators say that when they're rambling. I'm like, no. I like it. I like to hear it. And I think I like to prepare for any... Any... Um, supporters I may have in the future, any fans, and when I say, if I say fans, if I think of fans, 
there are people I think of in the future. Because I know if I continue this, it's very likely that I could have a fan base. And I want to be there for them ever since before I have them. Because right now, I don't consider myself to have a fan base. It's mostly friends and family, I'd say. And other people who, who see my stuff and whatever, but wouldn't consider themselves fans. Um, but I think I want to give them love before I even have them, which is why I want to give a lot of love. It's, I think it's partially why I want to give a lot of love, because I know a lot of people are, are going to give me love. Um, and I, I think I want to be there for that. I want to be there for them, for any fan base or support I, I may have in the future. Um, I gotta get going. There's so much, There's a lot of questions and thinking that I have to do all the time, and that takes up my mind. But I can't dwell in that all the time because I have things to do. I have to live in a schedule and I have to adapt my body so that I can live in a routine. No longer can I have huge amounts of hours at my disposal for like soccer or just hanging out all day. I must work. But I still don't know what I'm going to do about going to El Salvador because time is running out and my mom is about to just get the tickets without me and just go by herself. So I got to get going. Thank you very much for, for listening. Um, I'll try to have a post up by tomorrow. I love you all. See ya.